Hard work, kindness, and love are everything. I'm Nathan East, and this is my breakthrough story. Growing up in Southeast San Diego as a young kid in the neighborhood, one of the things I was looking for was a way out. In our direct environment, there weren't as many opportunities. I could always see that there was another world out there beyond what was available to me. <laughs> and I think it's time we start letting people know yes. the sort of the backstory and the, the history. The backstory. And the first thing we need to let people know is that he is actually Nate. I'm Greg. It's not the other way around. I think at age 14, it kicked in. I remember the moment I was sitting in church when I first saw that bass at the altar, and nobody was playing it. I picked the bass up, and from that moment, I just felt some kind of really magical a language that I was being exposed to that was just different than anything I've ever experienced in my life. I'll never forget just the realizing the power and what this instrument can do to color the music from the, from the bottom. I always look at that as the, the pivotal moment in my life where from then on, I knew that, that this was something I wanted to do. I had only learned, you know, a couple of notes, <laughs> but uh, the good thing about playing in church, I always say, is that if you make a mistake, they forgive you, so. One of the things I love about the bass is I feel like the vibrations of every note resonate with the human body. It's something that you can't touch or see, but you, you feel it. The spiritual nature of music is what really touches people. I got bitten pretty early in life and uh, I never looked back. I'll never forget the feeling I had on my first big national tour playing Madison Square Garden, sold out arena. At age 16, I'm thinking, what else is there? You know, this was something that like I knew I wanted to do. When it came time to investigate what I was going to do beyond high school, I asked my counselor if he had any state scholarship applications. He literally completely blew me off. Oh, we don't have any applications. And I thought, you know, wait a second, I just saw a big stack get delivered. Uh, he went to lunch and I went into his office, opened the drawer, and there's a big stack of applications. So I took a few, filled it out, and uh, that's how I got through college with that scholarship. And I'm thinking the trajectory of a young kid would have been changed had I not kind of had my eyes open and uh, taking that step to determine what my future was going to be. So after I got my Bachelor of Arts degree in music, I started a master's program. And one of my instructors, bass instructor, he pulled me aside and said, what are you doing? He said, now go to LA, move to start using your talent, make some money, make us proud. And I thought, you know what? He's given me some solid sound advice. He's my mentor. So I quit the master's program, packed up my stuff and moved to LA. Just like I pictured it, LA. When you think about how times have changed over the decades, it's, it's amazing. When I think about standards, just I, I always shoot for the highest level. One of the most exciting moments was the inauguration of President Barack Obama on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in front of two million people. And I had um, a picture of my grandparents and my parents on my music stand because they wouldn't be alive to see the, the first black president. Yeah, 
East, West, all right? Come on, babe, all right? Good. Come on, let's go. Man, this never gets old. Nah, nah. Music absolutely brings people together. Everybody becomes one, and I think that's the biggest power of music. It's just magic. And, you know, a song and a note can change the chemical balance of your body. In this business, the relationship is everything. And there are a lot of players now in this town that to this day, we, I can still call them up uh, a day before and say, are you available to come to a session, you know? And that is just like the family that we've created together. When I'm playing with Noah, my heart beats at a different, at a different pace. I, I feel more spirit. To be honest, you know, I feel like I'm just a vessel for this language. I call music the language of God, where sometimes I'm in here and we're playing together and I think this is just, this is not me, but this is some extra special spiritual energy going on in here. And then, then when I hear his improvement and, and um, he's actually become one of my favorite musicians. It's almost like I can think of what I would like to hear on the piano while I'm playing bass and he plays it, you know. For me, there's nothing better than be able to share what's been uh, my passion for so many years and, and such a big part of my life with my son and to follow his journey. When I get in a room with musicians that I'm familiar with and that we all speak the same language, it's almost like that first day of picking up the bass. You just feel the power and the energy. But for me, it's trying to make music that's going to penetrate the hearts of who's listening. And that's one of the most magical things about making music. Certain musicians, you walk in the studio, and if you see them, you know, it's gonna be an easy day and it's gonna be a fun day. The dynamics of it, the chemistry, and just the uh, camaraderie between us, I mean, we're like legs of a, of a stool, you know. Each one is a very important aspect of the whole big picture. It's almost like we're not playing the music, the music is playing us. One of the things I'm most grateful for when I wake up every single day is the fact that I have a family. Just the fact that I have people to come home to, people that I care about more than anything, and they, they care about me. And when I think about my wife, my kids, my siblings, my parents, I think about all of those relationships are things that, that fed my character, my spirit, and rain, shine, good, bad, up, down, and they'll love you until the very end. Every single day feels like a breakthrough. Regardless of what happened the day before, I wake up and feel like we have a brand new chance, brand new opportunity. This is really my approach, and we only get one day at a time. I'm not gonna live by what happened yesterday and let that affect me today, and tomorrow hasn't happened, and, and I'm not guaranteed that. It's so random that we can't really control anything except what we do, our choices that we make.